Hey guys, it's Turner4590, and welcome to the best Zelda game ever made. <laughs> oh, Kami. <laughs> um, just gonna press plus because it's gonna go back to playing that intro, uh, an intro movie, but, um, yes, I know I have that unofficial rule about doing a Zelda game every two years, but I thought this is probably the best loophole I can think of. Okami basically is a Zelda game, but it technically isn't, so let's do it one year after Wind Waker. Sure, why not? Uh, but I know what you guys are thinking. Turner, is it really a good idea to be doing Okami right now? After all, Okami is the game that landed you your first copyright strike, on top of the fact that because of that copyright strike, videos can only be a little over 15 minutes long. You're gonna be doing Okami videos for five months straight. Is that really a good idea, Turner? And I just have two things to say to that. First, as my good friend Sonic the Hedgehog once said, No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! And second, I'm actually gonna be doing a, something a little bit differently with this game. Uh, one thing I've always found cool about Okami is that it has a very, very clearly refined uh, three-act structure. Like, each act has a very clear beginning and end point. Each act has its own characters, its own story. Like, it, it almost feels like they could be different seasons of a TV show, or they could be completely different games entirely, because, like, they're just, they're completely different from each other. Uh, well, the gameplay is obviously the same. You, people who play the game know what I mean. Like, they're very different from each other, especially in terms of story. Like, it's a new story, basically each act. So, what I'm going to be doing, actually, so I don't have to subject you guys to five months straight of Okami videos, because this game is quite long, uh, I will be splitting this game into three segments uh, throughout the year, uh, throughout 2015. So, in this first segment, we're going to be doing the first act of the game, which is still a healthy chunk, don't worry, it's the act one is, is the longest. And then midway through the year we'll do the second act of the game, and then at the very end of the year to cap it off we'll do the third act of the game. So yeah, it gives it gives something, it gives the people who like Okami uh, something to look forward to throughout the year, and it gives the people who don't like Okami, it doesn't force them to wait five months through Okami videos before getting to games that they actually enjoy. Anyway, with that long ramble, let's get started, because this is one of my favorite games ever, and I haven't played it in a very long time. In before Bayonetta cameo. No, this came before it. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, cherry blossoms are so cool. Every tree. Oh, wow. All of them. 
dark secrets. Uh -uh. Don't don't go into the basement. Ah, uh, you know, after a while, I don't think you can really call a dragon a beast. I mean, like that's clearly a uh, eight-headed dragon. <laughs> that's not a beast anymore. That's a dragon. Where's Hercules when you need him? Hercules! Hercules! It's not going to be fun pronouncing some of the names in this game. <laughs> it's like, your guess is as good as mine for some of them. <laughs> Wolf and Dragon tag, tank t tag Team Duo? I'm going to say Shiren... Sh Shirenu? I think I've always said Shiranu, but that's probably wrong, but this game has a lot of Japanese names, so... Nagi. There, there's an easy one. <laughs> oh. Well, at least you tried. That's a pretty cool way to, to like, <laughs> show who the sacrifice is, though. Aww. Like a man! in full slow motion as well. Oh man, this... This opening oration is bringing back all the memories of, like, the game and, like, some of the, the sequences that happen, and it's just like... Oh, I'm so excited to play this game again. Oh, I'm so excited. Then that the wolf appeared with a small, a small imp on its back with a giant helmet. <laughs> Crap! Wrong Zelda game. <laughs> I told you this was a Zelda game. Creepy dragon heads. <laughs> so cool. Ha <laughs> Tree powder, bitch.
Why didn't you do that five minutes ago? I brought a new pet home. Aww. Mm. Doggy. Sukuyomi? Sukuyomi? I think that's right. <laughs> and put a sign in front of the entrance of the moon cave that says, Nagi was here. <laughs> ha, this is not the end of the story. <laughs> this narration has been going on for like 20 minutes. Uh, this... Warning you now, this game does have a lot of dialogue, especially the beginning. <laughs> like, the this opening tutorial, whatever you want to call it, is a bit long, so fortunately it's going to be multiple parts, sorry. 